Hey, Top 10 Army, what's up? Welcome back to another amazing episode of Top 10 Center. I am back with another lit video, and I'm sure you'll enjoy this. So guys, in this amazing episode, we are going to discuss how to conduct a market analysis for your business. Are you guys excited for this amazing video? Before we begin, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. We bring you the latest news and updates in the finance and business world. How to conduct a market analysis. While conducting a market analysis is not a complicated process. It does take a lot of dedicated research, so be prepared to devote significant time to the process. These are the seven steps of conducting a market analysis. Number one, determine your process. There are many reasons you may be conducting a market analysis, such as to gauge your competition or understand a new market. Whatever your reason, it's important to determine it right away to keep you on track throughout the process. Start by deciding whether your purpose is internal, like improving your cash flow or business operations, or external, like seeking a business loan. Your purpose will dictate the type and amount of research you will do. Number two, research the state of the industry. It's vital to include a detailed outline of the current state of your industry. Include where the industry seems to be heading, using metrics such as size, trends, and projected growth. With plenty of data to support your findings, you can also conduct a comparative market analysis to help you find your competitive advantage within your specific market. Number three, identify your target customer. Not everyone in the world will be your customer and it would be a waste of your time trying to get everyone interested in your product. Instead, decide who is most likely to want your product using a target market analysis and focus your efforts there. You want to understand your market size, who your customers are, where they come from, and what might influence their buying decisions, such as factors like these. Age, gender, location, occupation, education, needs, interests. During your research, you might consider creating a customer profile or persona that reflects your ideal customer to serve as a model for your marketing efforts. Number four, understanding your competition. To be successful, you need a good understanding of your competitors, including their market saturation, what they do differently from you, and their strengths, weaknesses, and advantages in the market. Start by listing all your main competitors, then go through the list and conduct a SWOT analysis of each competitor. What does that business have that you don't? What would lead a customer to choose that business over yours? Put yourself in the customer's shoes. Then, rank your list of competitors from most to least threatening, and decide on a timeline to conduct regular SOWT analysis on your most threatening competitors. Number five, gather additional data. With marketing analysis, information is your friend. You can never have too much data. It is important that the data you use is credible and factual. So be cautious of where you get your numbers. These are some reputable business data resources. U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, U.S. Census Bureau, state and local commerce sites, trade journals, your own SOWT analysis, market surveys or questionnaires. Number six, analyze your data. After you collect all the information you can and verify that it is accurate, you need to analyze the data to make it useful to you. Organize your research into sections that make sense to you, but try to include ones for your purpose. But try to include ones for your purpose, target market, and competition. These are the main elements your research should include. An overview of your industry size and growth rate. Your business's projected market share percentage. An industry outlook. Customer buying trends. Your forecasted growth. How much customers are willing to pay for your product or service. Number seven, put your analysis to work. Once you've done the work to create a market analysis, it's time to actually make it work for you. Internally, look for where you can use your research and findings to improve your business. Have you seen other businesses doing things that you'd like to implement in your own organization? Are there ways to make your marketing strategies more effective? Are there ways to make your marketing strategies more effective? If you conducted your analysis for external purposes, organize your research and data into an easily readable and digestible document to make it easier to share with lenders. Be sure to retain all of your information and research for your next analysis and consider making a calendar reminder each year so that you stay on top of your market. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.